What's up duelers, it's Nerf here. And the last three duelist rank match videos, I played these three different Vanar decks. So let's go back to our Lionar deck, our Argeon deck, which just in case um, I changed the deck since the last time I played it for you guys, this is what it currently is. So let's head right into ranked with it, where I've been more relaxed because I'm not getting top 50 this month, but I still want to play some good games. So I guess uh, now it's just the grind of duelists. I've been trying to play as much as I can to earn a little extra gold. Uh, Gauntlet's important to try to, I just want to get gold and spirit so I can create more decks in different uh, different factions. Probably Magma will be the next faction I delve into because it seems like the cheapest to get a strong deck in. Um, where am I going first? Second? First. I will get rid of a Dale Toss and a Sun Bloom. Alright. So... That was a very good uh, mulligan I just did there because I can play turn one Urzurite Lion, which is probably the best turn one play in the game. Very strong one drop on the first turn of the game. Uh, is my opponent there? Is a question. Okay. Uh, now I get rid of one in the Tempest. And I'm going to play. Is there a lion maybe? I top decked another good two drop. But I'll go with the Azurite line. Flame Blood Warlock. Windblade Adept. Hmm. Tempest could be a good play here. I could clear the board of the Tempest. Question is, do I want to clear the board of the Tempest? Probably not. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I will do this. And now I'm gonna play. You know what? I'll try healing everything up now. You can easily destroy something then, actually. Let's get rid of the Tempest. And I'll play Dale Toss. And. Do I attack with this? Sure. Right? Or else he's just going to attack with that. We'll attack with that either way, actually. Let's attack with it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. He almost decides to deal face damage. And then, oh, he had a holy immolation. I was set up perfectly for that holy emulation, wasn't I? Oops. Oops is the best word I can say to describe that. The old holy emo. Well, at least, uh, that he moved away, so now I can actually get an Arclight Regalia on. Let's get rid of the wind blade. I just get rid of the saber shine tiger. We're not gonna get like a lucky win in a second run or anything. And let's see. Well, I have to get the mana spring so I can play the bloodborne spell. But I also want to be able to hit this. Okay. 
This is definitely a very good card to hold on to against a Lionar deck. A lot of provoked units and Hollow Grove Creeper is a very, very hard counter to it. Okay, he's gonna play that. Hopefully I can dispel that somehow. This might just be a game of cat and mouse. I might just run away and just surround myself with provoke units. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. I will get rid of one of the wind blades. I have five mana. Play this, fill up my hand, but then I'd be losing a card at the end. Well. I don't really want to be get want to get hit by that this turn so I'm gonna run away a little bit let's play the this is all right let's play the healing mystic and heal me up there and then I'll play the is right lion over here and hopefully there's no holy another holy annihilation play because of a possible holy emulation play, I'll play my lion all the way back here. It can run away. It can run across the battlefield pretty quickly. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't have an elex stormblade because then that uh, that thing can run right towards me. <sighs> now I want to draw my own holy emulation. Also would like some dispel. He's gonna run away a little bit, maybe. Interesting. I'm ready for if he plays like uh, Iron Cliff Guardian. I have my, I have my Hollow Grove Keeper to just destroy it. I could always start charging in with the Tombstone, but I don't have a Divine Bond to make it like huge, huge. Ironcliff Guardian. Okay, so we have our we have our hard counter to that. Our Hollow Grove Keeper, um, and that's gonna be my whole play this turn, I guess. I'll get rid of the Tempest. I have many more things than on the board than he does. So, this is gonna be able to. We want to play this somewhere where he can't attack it yet with his Deal Toss. We're gonna slowly creep in on him. Play this here, destroy that. Hard counter at its finest. And what do I increase attack? I'll increase the attack of this, I guess. this here and I guess we can move everything a little bit in I'll move all the way over here we're creeping in <laughs> it's pretty funny I have like a, a circle like closing in on him but I'm the one with less health than my general lasting judgment it's just gonna kill that fine one for one trade actually same mana cost as well now we did draw a dancing blades which is a very good way to destroy the deal to us without taking having to have someone take seven damage he would still get his tombstone but which is scary just have to make sure my general's not in uh be able to be hit by the tombstone <sighs> Circle of Life on my Hollow Grove Keeper, which is going to heal his general actually to full health. And it's my turn now. And I am going to. I don't know, do I go forward and hit him with the. Dancing blades when I don't have a counter to whatever comes out. I think I'm gonna 
first replace a card to see if I can grab something else. See if I can top deck. Now let's get rid of actually the Steel Toss. Not the Dancing Blades. Let's just use one of them. Screw it. Dancing Blades it is. Now where is that going to spawn? It's important where it spawns. Right in the front there. So where is this able to go? It can walk up to here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be aggressive now. I have pretty big things. Going to be aggressive. I feel like I take a long time on my turns. I'm sorry to all my opponents. It's a tough game with all the uh, all the spaces on the board. There's um, so many different combinations. Okay, does he have a divine bond? Or is it going to be a holy ammo right now? Man, I really set myself up for another holy immolation. I'm very get very bad about playing around that. But if you try too hard to play around those things, you your board just ends up like not very optimized and hard to get around. Okay, so I assume he's gonna hit the uh Yeah, he's gonna not holy ammo. So that's gonna be a, a very effective holy immolation. And then what? Flame Blood Warlock. Which hurts because it knocks my thing down by one. Um, I guess I go for the sister now. And then I can't play either five drop. Um, I don't need to though. I think I do want to play the sister this turn. So let's play the sister. War Surge and Aerial Rift. Not really one I wanted. <laughs> I guess, uh, Get rid of the War Surge. Silver Guard Knight is pretty good. Alright then. I will go ahead and deal damage to that. Increase this thing's attack to finish off dealing damage to that. And then I'll play this. And man, we hope there's not another holy immolation, right? <laughs> I'm playing right into it again. Every turn I'm in a holy immolation. The third one would be pretty devastating. I have my own at least. Okay, that's gonna, they're gonna trade. Not much I can do about that. He has two cards and eight mana. I'm surprised this is a strategy worked. It seemed like he had a very strong lead early on after that first Holy Emulation he played, but since then I just kind of backed off and built my board and then closed in on him. And it's really worked very well. I like Stormblade. Too bad our Hollow Grove people has already played and we only have one in the deck. Um, in that case, I kind of have to do something about this. I could actually just increase this thing's attack to 8 and just outright destroy this. <laughs> Probably what I'll do.
right? Aerial Rift. I'll just replace that. I can actually just draw a card with it though. But I like the rest of the cards in my hand, so I'm just gonna. I don't know what I want to be drawing this turn. I guess a small, small drop. I'll get rid of there, drop provoke, dude. Another Arclight Regalia. Um, a five and a four. Should I do that? Sure, I'll do this. Oh, I can actually just play this too. Just to draw another card, should I do that? Nah. Maybe I should've. I think, what if that card I was gonna draw was a Divine Bond? <laughs> then I would've been able to do a lot more damage. Play the zone big dude and roar. And wings of paradise. Okay, I have holy immolation. And now I'm gonna play the aerial rift. Because I draw the card and I might actually need the airdrop. Let's get a minion. No minion. The divine bond is pretty good though. By Holy Emo. Let's see. By Holy Immolation. I'll get rid of one of these Arclay Regalias. Saber Spine Tiger. Play Saber Spine up here. Or if I Holy Immolation here. I can get a 16 and then I can win. Yeah, I can win the game. Okay. That's going to be a game, I think. So, Holy Immolation. And then these two will combine to destroy the uh, Iron Grove Guardian. And then I play Divine Bond on my Tombstone for the win. So, uh, that was a good victory, I guess. Um, 17 minute game, uh, we can fit another one in this video, probably much shorter than the first match. More tempo Argeon. Okay, I will replace... Going second, place those two. Good luck, have fun, sir. Um, unfortunately, I didn't play a Chakri Hours, or I could just snipe. In that case, I'll replace the Saber Spine Tiger. I should replace the Arclight Regalia. I don't think it's very good against uh, this type of deck. I guess I'll just play this. Not really the strongest turn one play from player two, but he didn't have anything to play turn one, so I don't mind that. There's the Chakri Avatar. Mana Vortex, and I'm sure he's gonna play Phoenix Fire now. That was a very strong turn for him. Pretty ideal, actually. Wish he maybe purposely didn't play the turn one. Because he was fearing a Saber Sign Tiger, which is very smart. So now I'm kind of on my back foot here. Uh, I guess I'll provoke this. I don't really know what else to do. Well, now it's provoked, and I'll put it down here so I'm actually one kind of step away from the mana spring. And do I attack our generals? 
Sure. Oh, he actually has a teleport thingy so he can get away from the can get away from the Ironcliff Guardian. Not enough to get to my general without using one of those weird spell cards. Onyx Bear Seal is a very good counter to that. And then he's going to hit me for a large chunk of damage. And... Oh, this, that's annoying. I'm so close to being able to destroy it. This turn without taking 5 damage on my general. By using... The dancing blades. Well, actually, I can just use the stairs my entire. Wish I could get the plus one attack on that. Okay, but stairs my tiger. Um. Oh, I didn't replace anything. Let's replace one of these. Uh. Give it some extra attack, I guess. Well, I guess not, I guess. We have to do that. And I'm gonna run away. Don't know how I'm gonna be able to win this game. I've been having a lot of trouble with Song High recently. I've just been doing a lot of losing versus them. I feel like every, every game I'm on my back foot both gonna run away from each other I lower health that's what I'm doing that's why I'm doing it four wins maga you know that's gonna have to be dispelled right away so I will do that right away and get rid of the divine bond so I will dispel and I'm gonna play the Sworn Sister. I just want to stay just out of reach. I don't really, I actually don't really mind being in reach of the general. Yeah, I don't really mind the general being able to. Well, let's just actually be kind of aggressive again. Or what are we even playing this turn, though? I'll play this. What do we draw? Nothing too special. I was hoping for like a spell, that can like like a circle of life or something. That would be pretty good. Oh no, I forgot about his Bloodborne spell blink. It's gonna allow him to easily kill my sworn sister. It's not good. Kaido Assassin. Inner Focus. Yeah, I was hoping to draw maybe a Holy Immolation with the Sworn Sister, but I really got nothing. I don't think I'm going to be able to come back from this game. Probably going to surrender. He's doing a lot of damage to me. Why is he running back with that? It's dispelled. Did he forget it's dispelled? He probably forgot it's dispelled. Let's replace this. Nothing. Um, I guess I'll run over here, destroy this with Dancing Blades. Play this here. See what he does now. I feel like I'm just waiting to lose at this point. So 
Songhai just feels very potent. It didn't lose yet, I guess. Huh. Tired. Scarlet Viper. Phoenix Fire. Why is he not killing my little guy here? He's just a little target for a possible holy emulation. Still no holy emulation or anything that's really gonna help me. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna. Well, I actually have to hide my backs, right? I do have to hide my backs. Hiding my backs. But like when I do something like this, he could just run back and play another one of the uh, Four Winds Maga and just win the game by playing spells. Problem is, Liner is like not really full of any. It's not full of gimmicks. Like you kind of know what you're going to get. The only card that's like maybe a big swinger is Divine Bond. Lanner Strength is a lot of units like Silver Guard Knight and Iron Cliff Guardian. Uh, their two two drops, the Lion and the Windblade Up. They're all very strong for their for their cost. They're very solid creatures, but they really don't have a lot of tricks up their sleeve. Just know how to play around uh, your uh, the Holy Emulations and don't leave high health units on the board because of Divine Bond. But I still like Lion a lot. Not sure if I like it more than Banner though. Lantern Fox. And if I don't top deck, I don't know. I don't even know what I would top deck at this point. I'm just moving forward with everything. We'll see what happens, I guess. I have a lot of, I have a lot of attack on the, on the board right now. If I'm, uh, if I'm lucky, uh, <laughs> Sunderer Gangster, uh, we'll, I'll catch him sleeping and hit him with all three of those <laughs> deal toss. I don't think I ever had three uh, deal toss on the board at the same time. Not positioned terribly. Ah, that's gonna help him. Phoenix fired. Does he have the win? Maybe. Yes, that's gonna be a win. Well played. So that'll be it for today, guys. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. And I will see you next time. Keep on playing Duelist, everybody.